exciting world of Le Métier de Beauté. I'm Mikey Castillo, your friendly neighborhood creative color director. This is Ivan Castro, our international lead makeup artist. And we're here to have a few laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Rudy Gernreich, the big fashion designer from the 1960s, 50s, 60s, made a really huge impact. It's when I really first started noticing makeup. Because makeup on women was very sobering and very sedate in the 1950s. It was just red lipstick and um, severe eyebrow, very simple stuff. And then the 60s came. And you look at some of the models in Rudy Gernreich's show, obviously Peggy Moffat was very prolific and the other models with really, really technically complicated eye makeup. It was really exciting. Um, so I started kind of painting those eyes on paper literally as a five and six year old. Mm -hmm. And it, it sort of never lost its uh, allure. I always rediscover it, so it's exciting and interesting. It really makes me pay attention to how to really uh, bring out people's eyes without it being the first thing that people notice, per, per se. Like when you just say, oh wow, you look really good. Not, oh, what interesting eye makeup you have on. <laughs> <laughs> but it was in that era that really made really made me stand up and really notice, oh, wow, this is really interesting. My sister was always into fashion. She loved reading Vogue and to paint Mademoiselle and Harper's Bazaar. And to me, that was really such an inspiring thing to look at because it's sort of like art at the same time it is actually makeup. Um, and as I got older, uh, I had a friend who was going to film school. She was a year um, a senior, so she just remembers me being very creative when we went to high school together. And she asked me to come do some videos and help her with films. I don't know how it happened, but somehow I just became very interested in makeup. So, for me, like Mikey, I think it's a, my passion comes from the art of transformation. You look at somebody, and you know, as a makeup artist, you know, I think people think that we look at someone, we can point out all the imperfections, but really, it's sort of the opposite. Well, we can almost imagine what the person is going to look like if we use the right eyeshadow colors to really bring their best face forward. Uh, growing up and getting into the late 80s, early 90s, it's kind of the birth and era of the supermodel Absolutely. universe. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a topic of conversation every day. What are the models doing now? We knew every single name of every top model. And the fashion was very severe. You could tell the very distinct look between 89 and 90 and 91, and suddenly everything really changed, 92, 93, and very specific looks. So, oh, that photograph, it was probably taken in uh, the spring of 1990 versus the fall of 1992. Uh, you know, the fashion was a little bit more severe than it is today. Mm -hmm. Today, seasons go by and there's no very um, austere change. You can really pick out the look. You can really make out, like, this is what year it was or what the trend was, whereas I think today, it's sort of anything goes. I th it has to do with the transitioning from having models on the covers of magazines to film stars. Film stars have more of a classic look. They're not walking art installations, they're just really pretty. From conversations with, say, actors versus models, um, the, the needs are different. They want to look really exciting, not boring, but natural <laughs> at the same time. In my youth, I was like, oh, how do I make someone look really exciting, not boring, but look natural? Because right. to a lot of makeup artists, natural means almost no makeup. You know, now that mm -hmm. we're grown up and we've been doing this for X amount of you know, decades, <laughs> I realized that actually natural makeup requires quite a bit of makeup. Yeah, right. There is no no makeup look. No, there is no no makeup look. Yeah. What is that famous saying? Everyone wants to look their best. But a naked face is nobody's best look. <laughs> <laughs>